Now, I don't know if you've made any customizations or adjustments to your Meta as manager, but it should typically look like what mine looks like. And in this video, I'm going to go from left to right as I explain each of the key metrics you need to focus on. So the first one is delivery. Delivery just talks about what's going on with that particular ad. Is the ad off? Is it complete? Is it in draft? Are there errors? Now, if there are errors with the ad, the good thing is nowadays, Meta will tell you what those errors are or it will point you towards where to go and find this um, error. So for example, is the error in the ad set itself or is it in the ad? Another one is learning limited. Now, when it comes to learning limited, it could be one of two things. Or actually, it could be more than two things, but typically it's one of two things. Either you did not perform what they call a conversion action within the time frame given or your budget is too low. Next up is the amount spent. Now, this could be in Naira, dollar, pound, whichever it might be. So, I actually, <laughs> across my Meta as managers, some of them are in dollar, some of them are in pound, some of them are in Naira. Next up is budget, which is pretty much how much you spend daily or lifetime in your Meta ads manager. Now, with the budget, you can actually set it at a campaign level or you can set it at an ad set level. Most times, people set it as an ad set. Depending on the kind of business you run and the kind of ads you are testing, you can actually set it up at a campaign level. Most times, businesses that set up their ads at a, their budget at a campaign level are testing out a lot of different creatives and those creatives are mostly retargeting creatives. For ads that you are not using for your retargeting, please just set it at the ad set level. Don't complicate things for yourself. Now we move on to the interesting part. Impressions and cost per impressions. Now, for impressions, I want you to look to imagine a billboard, right? You are in a car driving a billboard. Maybe you're on 30 million bridge. For every time you pass that billboard, that is one impression. Now, I did not say every time you look at that billboard. What did I say? Every time you pass that billboard, that is one impression, okay? I say this because there is another thing called reach in the ads manager. Reach is now how many times you looked at that billboard, just for context, okay? So let's do this again. For every time you pass the billboard, that is one impression. For every time one person looks at the billboard, that is one reach, okay? So that means you can pass that billboard 10,000 times, but you, can only, you only looked at it once. So your impressions are 10,000 impressions, but your reach is just one. That means the same person can scroll past your ad on Instagram, but they only view the ad once. If it's a video view, it typically counts for your first three to five seconds. Depending on whatever else you picked as your objective, there are certain things that would kick off. But most times with video views, they just count the first three to five seconds because that is seen as the hook in your ad. Okay? Now, impressions are very, very tricky. People use it as a vanity metric and I have a very serious beef <laughs> against impressions. I actually tell the people that I don't pay attention to impressions. The reason why I say this is because the more money you spend, ideally, the more impressions you get. Meta is just going to keep showing your ads to everybody. If those people see it or not, Meta doesn't care. They're, so far, you kept driving around, 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 and that billboard was there. Meta is going to collect their money. That's pretty much how impressions work. Now, cost per impressions is how many times or the cost of 1,000 people passing that billboard. That is the cost per impression. So Meta is not even, they're not cashing out on how many people looked at the billboard, which is rich, right? What they are doing is they are collecting their money for how many people passed the billboard. And this is why I mentioned in another video where your video ad creative, whether you're using a video or you're using a carousel, whatever it might be, the creative, the content that people engage with is the most important thing within your ad. Okay? So that is impressions. See, I'm already getting excited. The next one is something that I also find very interesting, which is frequency. 
Now, frequency is pretty much how many times somebody saw your ad. Okay. So remember that billboard we were talking about? How many times did somebody see it? If impressions is somebody passing the billboard and reach is when somebody looks at the billboard, that means frequency is how many times did that person look at that billboard while they were passing it? So impressions, they are passing it. Reach is they looked at it. Frequency is how many times did they look at it? See, I'm looking up as if there's a billboard there. But let's imagine there's a billboard there, okay? So that's your frequency. When it comes to frequency, the sweet spot is between 1.4 and anything below 3. Depending on your business, depending on your product, depending on your service. If your frequency is too high, go and check your targeting. Your targeting is too narrow. Next up, you have CTR in bracket all. So CTR just stands for click-through rate. Now, most of the time, Meta charges you per impression. So your CTR is that billboard. Okay? How many of them clicked on the, on the ad? So a click would be somebody, maybe they, ch they check the comments. Maybe they liked the post. Maybe they shared it with a friend. Maybe they clicked on your social media page to view your profile. Maybe they clicked on the shop now button. All of that is a click-through rate. That is why it's called click-through rate all. Next up is link clicks and cost per click in bracket all. Now, that cost per click in bracket all is very similar to the click-through rate that we spoke about earlier. The only difference is the click-through rate was in a percentage. This cost per click is in currency. Okay, so if you run your ads manager in dollar, naira, whatever it might be, it will be in currency. Next up, we have attribution setting. Now, for attribution setting, <laughs> see, I removed my glasses. So let's say you saw an ad on Meta, right? You are scrolling on Instagram and you were like, ah, I like this bag. Click, you clicked on the bag and then you landed on the website. Okay, and then you bought that bag. Immediately, you saw the bag, you bought it. Immediately. Good. That sale is attributed to the ad in the Meta Ads Manager. That is why it's called attribution setting. So it is attributed to that ad. Okay? Good. Now, if I went to that website and bought that bag, but I bought it three days later or four days later, that sale is still attributed to that ad. And the reason why it's attributed to that ad is because the attribution setting is set at a seven-day window. You understand what I mean? So if somebody bought from that platform and they bought maybe, hmm, maybe they bought it nine days later or 10 days later, even though it was the ad, that my ad that they saw that made them go and buy that bag, but they bought it 10 days later, it will not count and it will not be attributed to that ad. So that's what attribution setting is. The next one is your results. Now, your result is based on the objective that you pick. So for example, most times I pick the sales objective, which is website purchases. Okay, good. Now, when you pick website purchases, it would show you how many purchases have come during that period. That is your result. At the campaign level, when you, are, when you are creating a new ad, you picked an objective. You picked maybe traffic or sales. If it's traffic, your result will show you landing page views, right? If it is sales, it will show you website purchases. Attribution setting and website and the results, which is website purchases, work hand in hand. So, going back to that attribution setting, that's why I was talking about, that's why I went forward a bit. Going back to attribution setting, when somebody bought a product from your store within the window that is given in that attribution setting, which is most likely a seven-day window, it is then recorded as a website purchase, okay, which is now your result. After you have now, after you have now recorded it as a website purchase, which is the result, you then have the cost per result. So the cost per purchase. So that's pretty much how you want to start reading your Meta Ads Manager results. Most times, prioritize the frequency, prioritize your link clicks, frequency, link clicks, and then, very, very important, your results. 
your results and then the cost per result. Make sure it's something you can afford. Make sure it's something you can afford and add that cost to your pricing breakdown. Because once you add it to your pricing breakdown, you can then see whether your business is profitable or not very quickly. I say this because as you begin to run these things in your business, there are certain things that will just look out of place once you do check your mental health manager. I remember I told you, well, for those of you that are regulars on this channel, you know I say this a lot. Your mental health manager, you want to check it every three days, max three days. Don't let three days go by. To even run, uh, what's it called? Meta ads on a, I don't want to say on a cheaper budget, on a tight budget, on a small budget. This is a video that would help you. In this video, I talk about the things you should focus on when you're on a tight budget and you want to win with Meta ads.